have these two elements it's copied and this is uh, the you can also use the pack instance uh, pack instance it's uh, the um, particular um, features for creating the packet geometry packet geometry it's um, Packet geometry is particular geometry we can use it in some case uh, in particular when we work with the fracture and the rigid body simulation. For now we don't uh, uh, important uh, but uh, the only things you need to do to know it's um, like the representation is change from is not the geometry but is considered this element like one point. So it's one point and one point. It's not the geometry and geometry. Okay. Now I can create another null object and I want to call this rods. Now I need to create the ends rail, the ends rail on that. But before I create the hands rail, I want to show you how to create the copy of this element together. And for path together, I need the merge node. And I can select this and attach here. And here I have my step with the, the roads. And if I now, if I mm, use, for example, the another copy SOP, And we can, for example, uh, copy the number, but also I want to rotate. If I rotate, I see I create the rotation. Okay. Also, I need to move it, this element a few out. In fact, if I create another transform sop, and I put here, if I move it, for example, um, I can move it up, maybe a few, because the zero is here, or for example, I can move it 0 0.1. Okay, I want to move it this, like this, and I want to move also a few up, because if I go in the side view, I see is in under the zero. So if I put 0 0.2, for example, I go up a few up because it's a little bit Okay. Space bar one. Now I can see if I copy, if I create the copies, or create a round, but also I want to copy in up. So if I change, for example, and I put 0 0.2 because it's the same distance I can apply here. 0 0.2. I see create my copy around. Also, I can maybe I need to create more. 20. I need to create more distance here. Okay, one, one point five. One point eight seven. Okay, it's nice. It's very nice. Also, in Udini, you can, for example, connect some um, parameters to other. What uh, I mean? I want to connect these parameters. It's the distance between the height with the, the distance of my step. And I want to connect this with this in the copy because it's the same. I can select this element 
I can go here, right mouse button, copy parameters, I go here, and left, right mouse button, and I can, for example, paste relative reference. If I paste relative reference, obviously it's not working, I select this, paste relative reference, okay, now it's work. What you need is create the particular expression. The expression is the ch, ch is the channel, open brackets, with uh, dot dot, transformation free, transformation y. What it means. Here, the node is the channel, is connected this, I say, if I click here, I say it's 0 0.2. I say, okay, these parameters is connected with uh, the parameters, the channel. You can find in the node free, the node is called transform free, and it's relative to the, this, this is the T, Y is uh, equals to translate Y. In this way, it's connected. In fact, if I change here, for example, 5, it automatically is changed also here. Now I don't see it because I click on translate, I see the same value. And this is uh, the channel reference, it's very good for create uh, the parameter effect and for change in every time when you want, okay? And this is one way. Now I need to create uh, the hands rail, and for create the hands rail, I need to create the shape. The classic shape is uh, with the cycle. Maybe I can save. It's a good idea, sometimes you save every time. Now I create the cycle, so tab, cycle, back here, and I see it's created here. My cycle I want is the nux kind, nux curve, and with the radius, this is only the little, one of the simulation, the situation where I can put, for example, here 0, 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.5. It's very small. I can press spacebar G, I can zoom in on this selection and see my sphere, my cycle is here. Okay, this is the my, uh, also I can change the rotation of my plane if I want, but this is okay. Now I change the with the transformation SOP is called also X form if you want in some old tutorial and I move it on the my rod. I want to move this on I need this. In the template, okay, and I have this. I want to move my where it is okay. I want to move this cycle on the top of my this element, so I can uh, do that. Actually, I can press C for hide my color because I don't use that. And I from the transformation node, I go here and use the handle. And I can move it. Okay, spacebar free, spacebar G for change view and change, for example, spacebar four. It's the side. Yeah, it's okay. Spacebar one for come back on. Okay, maybe we can also 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and I can move it. It's not 
important he's very perfect in the middle of this element for now also you can draw in your particular shape if you want okay and now I want to uh, put this element on the other okay other copy so I can use the copy again connected and template this and the copy I need to move manually also in this way I don't create this element in the same time I create the rods because I use now one tools is needed to create uh, separately and needed to create that in, a, in another time. Okay. Okay, I, is, I am happy now. Maybe it's not perfect, but it, I am happy for me it's okay. Create the null. And wait. And merge also that here. And now I see my hands is a common. Okay. Now we can use uh, another tool. It's called the skin. Okay. The skin it's working only on the shape and the skin is connect this shape from this to this. Okay. And this is very good for create, for example, the effects of my rays. In fact, if I take the skin method here and I go to see what's happened and say, hey, there is a problem because I have the problem because I need to create the, the cross section from U and V. And it's more important in the, um, your, the copy shop here. I have here the output prefix, okay? And the output number. The, what she's done is creating automatically for you the name, the name of the copy group, okay? I can uh, call this, for example, hands read underscore and is create automatically uh, for every number of copy create uh, hands rails 0 1 and rails 0 in fact if you click the information or information here or middle mouse button here you can find two primitives is created hands rails underscore 0 and hands rail underscore 1 this is the group the primitives group now if i come here and I can choose from the, for example, the, this uh, drop down menu, because maybe I don't remember the name. I can choose, for example, hands rail zero one or zero. And if I choose also the zero one, I create this, but is like zigzag line. I don't want that, that I want only the zero, okay? And I create the same skin, but for one. In Houdini, for copy the node, you can select, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V, or very fantastic way, you can select your node, hold on on Alt, press left mouse bot button, and you can drag, you can create the copy. And now I can copy here, here, and here I put number one. So now I have the two elements, okay, is perfect created. And when I change this, for example, the number of copy of my step is growing and change in this very nice element. 
Okay, now we can do the last things. The last things is create the tube inside here. And this tube, this element, when it's growing, is growing also the number of step and create the different kind of step you can find in your, uh, is automatically change, okay? With the height is change. 